We now need to go to the New Year's Six and college football playoff projections. That's right. These are the projections for what we think the playoff will look like, what we think the New Year's Six Bowls will look like. This is different from the resume ranking. This does include your preseason hype, and, and you're guessing what at what's going to happen the rest of the year. So this is a different different look. The, the teams will be in different places. Like, for example, last week, the SEC team I had in the playoff was Alabama. Why? Because Georgia was coming off that game against Auburn, and I thought, well, if Alabama makes the SEC championship game and Georgia plays like that, Alabama may win the thing, maybe 12-1, and, uh, and, and go to the playoff. Now, no, if, if Alabama, which increasingly looks, looks like it will make the SEC championship game, has to play that version of Georgia that we saw against Kentucky, Alabama ain't winning. Georgia's winning that game. So Georgia, back to number one in the Sugar Bowl. I've got them against number four, Michigan. I know what you're thinking. You've got Michigan winning the Big Ten and being number four team? No, I do not. I have number two, Penn State, playing number three, Oklahoma, in the Rose Bowl. I know you Pac-12 fans, not happy about this. But at this point, I'm predicting the Pac-12 will cannibalize itself. Remember, I just said who Oregon and Washington have to play after they finish playing one another. All, Both of them have to play USC. Both of them have to play Utah. Both of them have to play Washington State. And both of them have to play Oregon State. That is a meat grinder. So right now, I'm predicting that that league cannibalizes itself, which is why I have two Big Ten teams in the playoff. Penn State, Oklahoma, Rose Bowl sounds like it would be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I don't know if it'd be as good as the Georgia, Oklahoma, Rose Bowl, but you know what? I, I'd, I'd enjoy watching that one. Rounding out the New Year's Six in the Orange Bowl, I have Florida State versus Alabama. This would require Florida State to drop something along the way. If Florida State's undefeated, they'll make the playoff. But this, this supposes that they'd end up dropping one or two along the way, but when the ACC... Oregon versus Texas in the Cotton Bowl. Texas, this is assuming that they lose to, to Oklahoma in the rematch. They'd still wind up in a, in a very nice bowl game like this. But I don't know. I just, I think Texas has a chance to get back in this thing. And it was very interesting watching that happen the other day where People are like, oh, you guys, you overrated Texas again. They stink. They're never going to be any good. Well, no, they they were really good and lost to a good Oklahoma team. That's all it was. And they still may be really good, and they still may beat Oklahoma when all is said and done. But for now, this would be a really fun Cotton Bowl, this or the Oregon-Texas one. Uh, they played in the Alamo Bowl in Mac Brown's last year. But I know Oregon has its sights set on bigger things. Texas obviously has its sights set on bigger things. Let us go to the Peach Bowl, Ohio State and Louisville. I know what you're thinking. You're Andy, you're just putting Louisville in here because they, they're the big winner of the week. They beat Notre Dame. They surprised everybody. But here's the thing. Again, look at Louisville's schedule the rest of the way. This is the most favorable schedule they're going to get in a while in the ACC. Their, theirs for next year is not, not pretty. But... It's going to be hard for them unless they really just don't show up a couple times, which could happen. This is a first-year coaching staff, new team. It could happen. They could get shocked by some people. But they just, they're going to be favored in a lot of these games and almost all of these games going forward. I don't know if they'll be favored against Kentucky, but I'd imagine They'll be favored in every other ACC game except maybe Duke. So there's a chance they wind up in a game like this. And Ohio State I have in here, which this is suggesting Ohio State loses to Michigan again and that they lose to Penn State. Again, the 21st is going to tell us a lot about what happens. So Elias Gray, good, good point here as I talk about these, this ACC situation. Have you looked in the insane ACC tiebreaker? It could end up with them contracting out to an analytics firm to pick. That's right. Our friends at Sports Source Analytics, that they have that contract. If you have three undefeated teams, they're going to have to do that. <laughs> and and it is it is conceivable that Florida State and Louisville and North Carolina could all be undefeated. 
And then the sports source is going to have to pick which two teams play in the in the ACC championship. I mean, it's a little bit like when you had the three-way tie at the top of the Big 12 South in 2008 and the BCS poll chose who would, who would represent them, and it was Oklahoma. So it, it's entirely possible that that could happen. I think they're hoping that randomness and you play that many games, somebody's going to lose, that, that it doesn't happen and that they have – ideally they have two undefeated teams playing each other in the conference championship game. That would probably be the most anticipated ACC championship game ever, but we'll see what happens. The Fiesta bowl. I got Wyoming and Washington and right now Wyoming, I have being the highest ranked group of five champ. They might be in the spot one week because they are going to air force next week. And that is a really good game. Fresno state Wyoming turned out to be a fun game. Wyoming took a big lead, ended up hanging on to win. But Wyoming has to go to Air Force, which is 5-0, and and that is going to be another great Mountain West game. Right now, it's looking like the Mountain West champ will be the highest-ranked group of five champ. I know that Memphis and, and Tulane feel like they're going to have something to say about that by the end of the year in the American. So that is your projected college football playoff and New Year's Six. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder... Subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.